My name is Sarette McIntosh and this is Brian McIntosh, my husband. And we're born and raised in Phoenix, Arizona. We have three children. Sammy is our oldest, he is nine. David is our middle, he's seven. And Joseph is our youngest and he is four. The darkest nightmare, those words coming from the doctor's mouth that your son has stage four high-risk cancer, it, it changed everything. The only things that matter are, are the family close to you and, and keeping them safe and feeling like that, that moment that you don't know how you're gonna keep your son safe. First it was shock and then grieving and extreme sadness and hurt. And then we came to a place of fighting of, you know, we're gonna beat this, we're gonna do everything we can do to, to beat this. And we have come really far. Joseph and I were in the playroom at Phoenix Children's Hospital, and I saw another patient in there with a Star of David around her neck. And so, obviously, we started talking. She asked me if I've heard about this most amazing organization. She told me about High Lifeline and gave me the contact number to Alyssa in the West Coast. From the moment I talked to her, I knew that we were gonna be taken care of for this whole journey. This was the only organization that asked us, what do we need? Not just a standard, okay, here's a check. They were there to talk. They helped with the financial assistance with the flights. They helped in every way possible. It takes an organization who really genuinely cares about the people that they're helping to be invested in sometimes those simple things that most people don't think about, but that you know are, are crucially important to you know making it through the day sometimes when, when you're dealing with everything else. When we started looking at other treatment options and we consulted with Dr. Kushner in New York, we were so scared of the unknown. That's when I got in contact with Esther from the New York office. She told me that when the plane lands that we will have family in New York and she was so right. That is exactly what happened. It was really a hard decision. We knew that it was gonna separate our family. Knowing that we were gonna have support from High Lifeline helped make that decision easier and not have to think about you know, how hard it was gonna be for our family, but really just focused on what's the best decision for Joseph. And to have the support here on the West Coast and knowing that my kids and my husband are cared for, and then being in the East Coast and having the support there for me and Joseph, it was just amazing to see the realm of support. They had volunteers come and watch Joseph so I can take a shower. They were our family there. So Joseph has had a really long journey. I like to say that he's the happiest four-year-old that you'd ever meet because he knows what it's like to feel really bad. So it's the most enjoyable thing in the world to be able to watch him play and just watch him be able to be a regular kid now. Our mission is to help High Lifeline grow because it is the most wonderful. Um, you, couldn't, you couldn't ask to support a better cause.